and did it? Mother, don't do it. Don't be saying any kind of thing around your children. Don't let your children get in your conversation. Amen. Because we'll do it today. We have little, little Joe sitting up there, but about five or six. Yeah, that's what I said too. And Sally, so you talk about somebody now. He go, yeah. And he knows, I see her this so and so. Oh, yeah. So you bring something in the conversation. Yeah. So I said, wait a minute. Whoa, whoa, hold on here. What are you doing sitting up there anyway? Boy. You understand what I'm saying? Amen. I remember I used to want to, I want to hear what the grown people said say too. I used to eat right there. And my mother had some big eyes. Uh, uh, like, like, but my mother, I was bigger than larger than Cynthia. She would take them out and roll them all on me. <laughs> she had to say nothing. She rolled them all on me. I remember everything she said. Boy, if this company come, don't you come around and be looking at us in our, uh, our mouth. Looking at our eyes, in our eyes. But you want to be sneaking around anyway because you're company. So you ain't had no company, but you just want to be around somebody. Amen. Yeah, Amen. They have some respect for the children. But they did. The parents are forgetting about that. Yeah. Children say anything. Say anything before the children. Anything. Read. Read from Proverbs, the seventh chapter, revert at verse 13. So she caught him and kissed him. Uh huh. And with an impudent face said unto him. There you go, for the fat enough for the kill now, read. I have peace offerings with me. I have peace offering with me. This day have I paid my vow. You have met him some woman now. And she's sweet talking now. Read. Verse 15. Therefore came I forth to meet thee. Let he was let she go just to meet him. She would meet him and she'll meet another one and be the same thing. Amen. He wasn't nothing special, but she's making him feel like he's special. Amen. Read. Diligently to seek thy face, and I have found thee. I have found you. I was looking for you, and you don't know it, but I've been looking for you for a long time. Live, what about the one just come out your house? Mm. Amen. What about the one that slept in last night? Read. Verse 16 of Proverbs 7 chapter. I have decked my bed with coverings of tapestry, uh -huh. with carved works. With fine linen of Egypt. Tell them all about her bed now. What her bed is. What, who cares what your bed is? <laughs> don't care about no bed. That is you know, what bed? But she thinking about, about the bed is all decked out. Who cares whether it's an iron bed or brass bed? Who, who cares? But she telling them all this shit. All this shit going to this head. Yeah. Amen. Read. I have perfumed my bed. Now I ain't thinking about the perfume. He ready now to smell that perfume. I have perfumed my bed with myrrh, oh, aloes, boy, she's and up cinnamon. Up she fed me up for the kill. You come there in my bed. My bed is not like you what you slept in last night. My bed got all kind of precious perfume in it. I got it so clean the sheets are soaking and 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 and, 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 and it got all this shit different on uh, uh, herbs in it. In it. All this perfume in there. She was naming perfume that was very expensive one too. Amen. Amen. Read. With myrrh. She had myrrh in Aloes. Aloe. And cinnamon. Come, let us take our fill of love until the morning. Now, so I said, but what do you don't you don't to say about what the love is? <laughs> that woman talking about a bed and talking about love. Don't be a dummy, don't know what you're talking about. Amen. Amen. So what you talking about? Whatever you, you, you know the whole story. Mm -hmm. Let us solace ourselves with loves. Verse 19. For the good man is not at home. Look at that. For mm. the good man is not at home. My husband's not home. Uh -huh. He is going on a long journey. Every man that says he's taking a long trip is not taking a long trip. Amen. 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 There's men that pull up there to try to catch you in something. You know, I'm about to go. Um. To California. Yeah, I'll be back in maybe about three weeks or whatever. But you hold everything down, you know. So he goes to California. I uh, say he's going to California. He's been around the corner of eventually sure his friend's house is cared for a while. Yeah. Then come back to the house, come back to his own house. Then you call yourself enjoying yourself. Jesus. Brother said he would call himself there with a woman. And, 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 and the man, the husband came, he did all stripped down and whatnot. Now, this, 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 
That's what he said. He all stripped down and everything, and the husband came in and finally the husband coming in there. He jumped out of the room. Like he came in the world, but born living. <laughs> Amen. Feet Amen. saved the body, you know. I, I was so happy that it wasn't up on the sick foot, but it was broken leg. He had to be somewhere that he could have jumped out and lived in the ground floor, the second floor. But he said he jumped out of the gun. Amen. And I believe it too. He did it. Believe. Verse 20. He have taken a bag of money with him. So he took a bag of money with him. And will come home at the day appointed. Mm -hmm. Verse 21. With her much fair speech. And with her much fair speech. A beautiful speech that she is uh, telling this young brother. She caused him to yield. She caused him to yield. With the flattering of her lips. With the flattering of her lips. She forced him. She forced him. Mm. Amen. Like this one here with Job. Yeah. Come on, Job, and lay with me. Amen. Amen. Force herself on Job. But Job said, look here. Uh -uh. Job said, not me. Job said, pull away from her and left his coat there. But Job got out of there. Amen. Amen. Not many men will move from that. Amen. 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 Check the woman calls up, forcing herself on you. And you go and tell some other brother about that. He said, what? That one? Yeah. Oh man, you must be sick. What you what happened happen to you? Amen. 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 We're reading from Proverbs, the seventh chapter, where at verse 22. Mm -hmm. He goeth after her straight way. Straight way. As an ox goeth to the slaughter. Right, get to get knocked in the head. Or as a fool to the correction of the stops. Uh-huh. Till a dart strike through his liver. As a bird hastens. To the snare, and knoweth not that it is for his life. It's a trap for you, brother. A beautiful trap. A sweet smelling bed, but it's a trap for you. Because there's someone that are watching a little sparrow, and there's someone that's watching you. Amen. 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 Read, my brother. Again, we read from Proverbs, the seventh chapter, where verse 24. Hearken unto me now, therefore, O ye children. And attend to the words of my mouth. Mm -hmm. Let not thine heart decline to her ways. Go not astray in her path. Don't fall up. Don't do it. Get your own wife. And be satisfied with the bosom that your wife has. And whatever she has. You, 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 you stick with that. Amen. Read. For she hath cast down. Yes, for she hath cast down many wounded. Yea, many strong men have been slain by her. Many strong men have been slain by her. Many. She has brought down many men. We talk about strong men. God talked about his people. You got to watch it. His people, 